I honestly cannot believe it, guys. We literally just qualified for the second week in a row. Kungarna is on top. Leno and Barl dominating the Western World Cup qualifiers. I can sit here and say, oh, I knew these guys were going to be amazing. I knew they would qualify every single week, but I, I had no clue. And I have to give so much credit over to Leno, Barl, Epic Whale, Silmat, and Unknown for being so damn good at the game and repping Kungarna in such flying colors. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my voice is raspy. I've been screaming. I... It's so cool to be able to make a team and pick up five players and already in the fourth week have four out of five of them qualified for the World Cup. Still, Matt, the only one without a qualification yet. You know he will make it eventually. These guys are incredible. Now, I'm sorry, guys. I understand that some of you guys don't come to my channel to hear about the Kungarna news, but it is my team. I created it. I founded it and I scouted all of these players through 20,000 applications. So without you guys, we wouldn't have been able to make it this far anyways. So I I want to say thank you so much. You are all truly amazing. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. Do me a quick favor, guys. Go down in the description or comments and go subscribe to Leno and Barl on YouTube right now. You can expect a bunch of montages and highlights on how they qualified. So please do go subscribe to them. They are amazing people. We'll jump into their craziest game where they got 16 kills and first place, which helped them secure the World Cup qualification. But before that, I know you guys need the news and you want to know who qualified out of every single region so let's go ahead and jump into that real quick so sick so we recap the regions now let's see all the players who have punched their ticket to the new york city final for the fortnite world cup here you go and congratulations everyone we ran through the list before so there's no real need to run through it again you can see it right there really just some cool stuff and uh yeah congratulations uh seriously so so those are all the players that qualify from today congratulations to all of them but now let's go ahead and focus on kangarna for those of you who don't care about kangarna feel free to leave the video or you can stay and see some awesome gameplay amazing interviews and just live this journey with me and everybody involved in kangarna because it's so fun and it wouldn't be so great without you guys so let's jump into it we'll go ahead and jump into the first time they finally noticed us and then played a game of ours which Leno and Barl got 17 kills in and won. It was amazing. Let's roll it. NA West games that are going on right now. We do have an update on the standing. So here we are and it's the uh, Kingarna guys. KNG, uh, Leno and Barl up at the top. I'm familiar with Kingarna from my experience. And then we got uh, Josh and Loving It Tricks as well as let's see here. Gotcha. Another Kingarna uh, group up there as well. I would definitely say more in the list uh, or more in the uh, territory of players that we haven't really seen all that featured, I guess. Barl and Leno still making their move forward there, and you have quite a few players on rotation. I want to give a shout out to Barl and Leno, another one of the Kangaro, kind of those free agent and friend group teams who kind of partner up, use their own resources, use their like-minded kind of attitudes to push each other towards the top and them like epic whale and seal mat have been requiring you pay attention demanding that you know who their names are because they've been putting themselves that far up the leaderboard as they now rotate through currently sitting on 26 points as we get into it in west like i said one spot up for grabs but everyone who's not in the top spot still battling for their portion of the million dollar prize up for grabs they get a couple boxes here, looking to go for the wall replace, gets it, the shotgun shot, looks like a little bit of a whiff there, and the corner was edited up by the player inside the box. They do push inside, take ownership of that box and catch a break, can't catch a break. Knocked out of this game, a little too easy on the joke there. Sorry, I mean, you can make your name that, I'm just, I'm gonna go with it. Cakewalk, you know? I Gotta mean, yep, cakewalk indeed, but no cake there. They were gonna eat that one all oh. up. Leno and Barl sitting on three. Elims now with still a lot of players left, but it looks like one of their ballers actually got drilled out, so gonna be forced down onto one. Unfortunately, does have a rift to go and going to lose the second baller against the super unfortunate is something that happens occasionally inside of those one by one. So instead, gonna pop the rift and it's so many up in the sky. Luke. I counted about 384 players on rotation there. That's not real chat, just so you know, but there are, uh, we're creeping up on 15 total duos remaining. I think right now they're 21. 
Maxi and another player move, making their way up to 21 duos, 36 players total. See the uh, top left corner of your screen. Keep in mind, this is one of the more difficult rotations. We're starting to get to the point where players are going to get choked out from the size of the circle. A lot of people moving in past the trees, too. Stritzer does go down. Barl gets that knock. The player trying to fly in. There are still three more up in the sky. 22 shield, 24. Yep, and immediately trying to stick with that player. As soon as he gets the first target, letting go of that first shot accuracy and just hoping the rate of fire plus bloom equals a knockdown does there enough to pick up RNG Nucklo as Barl also gets Switzer. So this is that Kangara duo now running the high ground will be able to convert into what is their fifth elimination. There's like four different tags from the stink there. Excellent, excellent damage. Oh, he got it. He got rifted up and then Summertime got ticked off by the storm. So the change that was put in about, I believe, four four patches ago into the arena and tournament mode. I believe regular playlist, where if you damage the player and then the storm takes them out, you do get that elimination credit. Storm, I think fall damage, the same thing applies to if they end up you know, just jumping off of the structure and, and getting knocked by that. Well, that's actually a pretty big shift too, because oftentimes in previous events, we've seen players get uh, almost get a knockdown, then one storm tick, even to the point where some people would throw themselves out in the storm to avoid giving a point. Doesn't work this time. 15 duos remaining. We're at the point now where everybody's picking up that first three points for placement. 18 players down to 13 duos, and the top of this tree may potentially block a little bit of movement. 94 pump shot into the SMG spray. Winter time going down. Great work from Lino there, making sure he follows it up as we are now inside that second threshold. You can see on the right-hand side of your screen, so five points for everybody left in the lobby. The next one they're looking for is top five, then it's the victory route. Ranger is down and ticking out, so it's only Cypher left looking at the wide shot. You have Farrell in your top right, Lino is partner in the bottom right as they run through the high ground. Everyone else on the low ground and at their mercy. You have Dolan getting picked up by one of those stray grenades that were just fired on into the fray. You have J-Bud and Spark trying to tarp off above them, but they eat one of the straight grenade launches, and now Lino is working his way down, looking to find whatever he can. j Bud gets knocked, Barl still running the high ground. This is what you see a lot from the high ground pairs when they know they've secured it and need to push for elims. They send one person up top to hold the angle and another person to work top to bottom. Both of the Foos and Duo go down. It's a two, V1, V1, V1. Art Flano trying to get outside the lobby. Barl draining in shots towards him. Picks that one up. Lino now walls himself off 2v1. Lino and Barl close out the rest of the lobby. 16 eliminations and the victory round. 26 points going from 24 up to 50. There's a reason they were in first, Lupo. Absolutely insane, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mainstream from Fortnite game when they broke down the incredible performance coming out from Lino and Barl and how they qualified. Roll it. Moment you've been waiting for, the NA West results, we back the they're in, <laughs> and uh, joining us in New York City is going to be Lino mm. and Barl, congratulations, oh man, and that is a, a lot that. of talent there, oh, Rux and Pika really close there as well, Tavern Vent, so great players there, Persecute and Riversand as well, some good players that are present, but it will be Kangarna, Lino, and Barl that will be going to New York City. So, fun fact, that very last match that was casted, if Howdy had gotten every Elim in the Victory Royale, that would have put him in first place. So oh, that was, it was don't a very, say that. very, very, well, and again, no, no easy task there, but the line there, it's annihilating so people today. It's hey. every single, hey, I'm not trying to say like, oh, it would have got him up there. I'm saying the difference between first and sixth is one good run right there at the end. And with only one qualifying spot, that makes it that much bigger for the Kangara duo. Sundown with the biggest gut punch of the day. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> it, no it is an it, it's a it's a worthwhile stat. Twice that, today. That's how meaningful, <laughs> I mean, we made a point very clearly that those last games, uh, every single point really makes a difference. And, and I mean, Sundown's correct in that securing every single elimination, the Victory Royale would have put him all the way up to first. That duo would have been going to New York City. Don't forget though, there's still multiple weeks left to qualify, so this is not the end very for them. Very true, very, very true. Don't and forget that. Four of 10, so I, we still I, got, we're not even halfway. Exactly. Yet. I do want to highlight though, the road that they took to get to that point, because as you had mentioned, 
Well, it was uh, pretty close there. So look at here. Game one, that is what, 17 eliminations and game three, 16 eliminations. Hadn't popped off like that in the Elam category, but one victory royale, all 10 games played in a total of 90 points. And that spread there, Sundown, the 41% on the placement, 58% on the eliminations. Yep, so inside kind of that 60-40 sweet spot we were talking about. But the one big thing I want to point out, and we can look down here, game 10. Six Elims, fifth place, 13 points, game 10 at the wire. We saw that one come down. The difference at the top was three points going, end up going wow. through from that direction and end up being the jump. So great coming out from them, enough to push them over the top. Congratulations to Lino and Barl. And I mean, this is, this is what it takes. Some big pop-off games, but in general, just consistently getting points throughout the day. I just want to add on that there's a big correlation too that a lot of the consistent uh, qualifiers had about four or so throwaway games. Oh yeah. You need like legit six. If you get six consistent pop-offs, you still have room for error. So no team up until even today so far in these weekends have had a perfect running. So we haven't even seen what close to a perfect running could be. All of them have had at least three or four, mainly like four or so, I, I guess you can say throwaways. Yeah, you don't yeah, get elims and, and you don't you don't get placement. But six games is what it takes and, and at least two big games. I mean, so. look at game seven, you just got one point forty six plays. See? So what yeah, I was gonna say is game eight's two you, points. Especially when you're looking at this, like let's take game six for example. Like they only got two two eliminations, but they placed top ten. Very well. So they got five points just from placement. That's still seven point game. There's you're still getting points out of these games. So there valid. are a few yeah, there's and there's a few games obviously. I mean goose egg. Yeah, yeah. Goose 40 egg. Well, 40 right. well, that's, duo. that's the nature Two. of the beast, right? Yeah. These things are going to happen, but the fact that they minimized it to just these two, where it was just kind of like, I guess the worst, yeah, if yeah, you will, yeah. Very well, very well, and that's how they ended up at the top. Honestly, guys, at this point, I still can't even believe this. Barl got invited on the Fortnite stream to do an interview. Let's go ahead and jump into that. As we did with NA East and Europe, we actually spoke to the winners of those regions to get their thoughts, and thankfully, we are joined by one of the winners of the North, or actually the winner, excuse me, of the North American West region. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring him up on the screen. It is gonna be Barl. How's it going, my man? Welcome. Hello. Hello. Hey, there Hello. you go. Are you good? All right. All right. Yeah, What's yeah, up, yeah. man? How you doing? Congratulations. I'm doing good. Oh my God, bro. I'm like lost a word right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, how old are you, bud? 16. 16 yeah. years old. All right. Bringing that mm -hmm. average age probably slightly mm -hmm. up a little bit at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ain't that the truth? So uh, your 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 path at this point. When we checked in at the start, you guys were in first place. You clearly started this. Uh, competition off very strong what yeah. happened in that that mid part there because we did the breakdown and we saw that you guys had a few games where you you struggled a little bit what was the situation so like like i don't know me and leno we're like number one for like um the first three games then the next few games we started dying off to spawn and stuff and like it was bad we kept dying mid game yeah um, it was really bad <laughs> I hate. Yeah, I mean, to put it lightly, it is it, in well, fact really pretty bad. bad. Yeah, it is pretty bad. It is pretty bad. Uh, but let's talk about the games where you guys popped off. What worked well for you there? What What was your strategy? Like, did you talk about it ahead of time? And what was like the practice regimen for the both of you going into the uh, qualifications? So we, me and Lena would practice with Epic Well and Seal Mat, and we would practice like tarping, tarping and looking for picks um, under us when we play mid ground, and we like. We vod review a lot of um, the top players, like Benji Fish, um, Scented. We watch how they play and just like just um, let's copy it. And you know what's really impressive about you, dude? You're you're 16 years old, and you qualified for a 30 million dollar tournament in New York City, but you are uh, functioning and acting like a many year tenured gamer <laughs> reviewing VOD. I cannot tell you, Impressive. and you and I can talk about this Sundown because we competed Forever. back in the day when we had our first opportunity to actually do VOD reviews. Our teammates never wanted to look at that stuff. Never wanted to pay no, attention to it. it's getting to scrims, man. Yeah, it's just scrim, 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 and then that's it. So uh, very well done from you, my friend, looking at the VODs, doing the research. Mm -hmm. uh, now that you've made it to this point, you know, are you going to continue to play in the, uh, in the qualifications uh, week by week to continue to get that practice? practice in and also what are you going to look to improve upon so that this way you could take home some big money in New York 
Um, it, me and Len are definitely going to be playing these next few weeks just to get better playing these customs. And, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I get it. It's a big question, you know, and I, and I totally understand it, right? Because there's a long road ahead of you without a doubt. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. We'll come back later. I'm sure I'll talk to you in New York about it. For now, yeah. I'm going to give you an opportunity to promote yourself as well as your teammate. Where can people find you, man? You can find this on Twitter at Barl L O L um, Leno. On you can follow Leno on Twitter. I think it's Leno F N. And you can follow me on Twitch at Barl F N. All right, awesome there you stuff, go. Barl. Congratulations, my friend. You're going to New York City. Also, Thank you. Props Congrats. to him. Plug in his teammates Twitter right oh, there. As well. Always yeah, have your homie. teammates back. Look at that. Like you said, a man wise beyond his ears. It's truly amazing, and I still can't believe it, guys. Thank you so much for following me on this journey. If you have made it this far in the video, type in the comments, hashtag Kungarna. I will be replying and hearting everyone who says that, or at least trying to, so I know you are a real supporter. Thank you so much, guys. That's going to be the video. Don't forget to go subscribe to Leno and Barl. I'm out of here. Peace.